Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly here, and today I am here with another Python tutorial to help you get an A in your coursework or exam, and today I am here with how to read a record from a file using Python. So we are going to be using the CSV format, which means each field will be separated using commas, and each line will contain one record, and a record contains a bunch of fields. This is a follow-up to how to write a record to a CSV file using Python, so click the eye up in the corner if you want to re learn more. So if you're in Visual Studio, you can right-click on your project in the Solution Explorer, click Open Folder in File Explorer, there you will find the folder where your Python project is, and I'm putting my data.txt file in here. You can put it wherever you want, just make sure it's got the right file path, and it might be different for other IDEs. Uh, our records are made up of three fields, an ID, a name and an age, and we've got a few of these in the file, and we're going to basically search for one based on the search term. So we have got def, read record from file, search term, file path, pause term and last field. Search term is what we want the record to contain in one of its fields, to so we can say we found it. An example might be, I want to find the person who has the name Bob. Or I want to find the person who's 69 years old. Then we're going to be doing file path. What's the file we want to search for the record in? Pause of term. Which field of a record can we expect to find our search term in? So hi let's say hypothetically you've got someone with a first name of Bob and someone with a second name of Bob. If we're searching for someone with the first name of Bob, someone with a second name of Bob, wouldn't match the search criteria because it's their second name, not their first name, if that makes sense. And lastly, we need to have a last field boolean because we need to do something slightly different if we know that the field that the search term can be found in is on the last field, then we need to do something a tad bit different. But not nothing major, so don't worry. Let's get into defining the code. So, we have got a simple try except with a return not found at the end. So we do try and then we put some code in here. If something goes wrong while executing the code in the try, we then execute what's in the except and we're going to print out the exception so we know what's going on. Then after we just return not found because nothing was found. And here inside the try is all of the code to read the record. We're going to break this down. Firstly, if last field. So basically, if the search term exists in the last field of a record, we need to do something minor. We need to do search term equals search term plus new line. So basically, there's a new line character in this uh, it, on each record. And we don't want to put a new line in our search term. So we're just going to add it on here. Because if we don't have this, then if we look for a field that's at the end of a record, we're never going to find a match because there's a new line character, which isn't in the search term, but is in that field. So we're just going to add that in. Then we do with open file path r as file. So we're going to be creating a file object, and we use this r to say that we want to read from the file. And file is going to be the name of the file object. And then we do lines equals file.readlines. Basically, each line of the file is now being read into this array. So each line is its own element in the array, and each line is a record, meaning we've made it really easy now to loop through all the records, which we then do here. So we're going to loop through each line or record, and we do four line in lines, colon. We then do fields equals line.split, then comma. And what this does is each field of a record is now going to have its own element in this little fields array, which will exist for this one iteration of this loop. And then what we can do is since we have every single element of this record as its own element in an array, we can then do if fields pos of term equals search term line equals line square bracket colon len line minus one square bracket return line that's a mouthful but this means we found the record and again we are using a match is only going to be found if if the search term appears in the right field of a record 
So we're going to look at our text file to, for an example. Let's say our search term is going to be bingo. So what we will do is we would put bingo data.txt one and false. So when we talk with position of terms, it's going to be like an array index, as in we start on zero, then one, then two. We put false because it's not the last field of a record. And it's obviously going to be one because it's here. So what we do is when we read the first line, we're going to check right is this field of the record equal to bingo. Now it is. So we then return true. Now let's change that to ya. Yeah. Well, we've checked this line and it's like, right, is bingo equal to ya? Yeah? No, it's not. Go on to the next line. Is pog equal to ya? Yeah? No, it's not. So we go on to the next line. Is ya equal to ya? Yes, it is. We return this entire line because we found it. That's what's going on here. And this is just removing, before we return it, uh, the new line character from this record because I'm assuming you don't want it. But that's basically it for this tutorial. So we're actually going to now show it in action. We're going to hit play. And it's printed out the record for 420. Now let's print out the record for 69 because we're funny. And it's printed it. Now let's do one, two, three, four, a number that's not in here. And it says not found because it, it doesn't exist. So we're going to go back and we're going to put three, four, five, six, but we're going to put the incorrect position of term. And it says not found. So if we put in a zero because it's the first field, but then we have to put this to a false because basically we need to put in for true when it's the final field of a record. So we can add in the new line when conducting our search. But if it's not the last field of the record, we need to put this to false. Otherwise, we're going to get a new line character added when we do our comparison. But there won't be one because it's not at the end of the record. So you have to make sure you get this correct. But we put a false. We hit Control S. And it's true. And it found it. So that's it for this tutorial. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed. And subscribe if you want to see more Python tutorials. Thanks for being a great audience. I'll see you next time.